and welcome to the battery shop. This 2014 Porsche Cayman has its 12 volt battery under the hood, but there's a lot of things in the way. And so we're going to recommend that before you begin, always check with the vehicle manufacturer's step-by-step -step instructions to be sure that you have everything you need, you're familiar with the procedure, you don't forget anything, and you can safely and efficiently replace the battery in this vehicle. Let's get started. We are using a memory saver to keep all of the computer's memories alive as we replace the battery. And, referring to the vehicle's owner's manual, there is a method of using a host battery if a memory saver is not available. The first step in replacing the battery is to remove this panel. Next, remove the emergency inflator's container cover. And then remove the emergency inflator. Now using a T30 torque spit, remove the emergency inflator container's fastener. and remove the emergency inflator's container. Next, using a 13 millimeter wrench, remove the fasteners for the battery hold down strap. Then remove the hold down strap. Now we can remove the fastener for the battery's hold down plate. And the hold down plate. Now with our gloves and safety glasses on, we can loosen the fastener for the negative battery cable and you'll need your 10 millimeter wrench for that. And remove the negative battery cable from the negative battery terminal. Then, Loosen the fastener for the positive battery cable and remove the positive battery cable from the positive battery terminal. Now we can remove the old battery from the vehicle. And install the replacement battery. Now we can reinstall the positive battery cable onto the positive battery terminal. But don't pound these terminals on as this can cause internal battery damage. And we tighten the fastener. Then reinstall the negative battery cable onto the negative battery terminal. And tighten the fastener. Now we can reinstall the battery's hold down plate. and retighten the fastener. Now we can reinstall the battery's hold down strap. And tighten the fastener. Now we can reinstall the emergency inflator's container. And retighten the fastener. Then reinsert the emergency inflator and replace the cover. Finally, we can replace the covering panel. And we're done.